the version of Minecraft with essentially infinite dimensions. Hey, it's me, and thank you so much for joining me on our nostalgic trip down memory lane together today. This is The Infinite Snapshot. Our story begins in a time that was, well, to be honest, not really exactly simpler. Having taken place on April 1st, 2020, two weeks after the big, uh, after the big diverge. This just in, every update imaginable coming to Minecraft. Now, I can remember at the time, I didn't believe this. I was like, there's no way. This is a troll post. There's, there's no chance they could put infinite dimensions in Minecraft. That's absurd. I would have swore that the blog post itself was all just an elaborate troll, but according to the changelog here, they've added 2 billion, 2 billion, 147 million, 483,647 to be precise, worlds based on intuitive player input. Our story truly begins today with a black far ahead of its time. <laughs> oh my my my, 2020, what in the world are you little friend? And how about your other friend over there? So taking a trip back down to memory lane, oh man, this thing, I haven't seen you, you're dusty, it's been like four years since I've seen you. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, as we would expect, the chiseled bookshelf block is not here, we're left with these other chiseled blocks. Instead, we have ourselves the box of infinite book. And I mean, I've said time and time again that you gotta pay attention to these April Fool snapshots because often there's like hints and things inside of them. And yeah, sure enough, this thing, a hint four years in the future, the front texture being like almost pretty much identical to what we ended up seeing in 1.20 with the chisel bookshelf i mean side textures completely different whatever it's just the oak plank texture but we got that same double line shelf in the middle with the dark spaces top and bottom except now we've got a lot of books like a lot in a more purely survival setting if one was to obtain one of these blocks somehow place it down we get a random color out of four options we interact with it haha <laughs> and it spits out a book now, every time I interact with this block, it's going to continue to spit out books. The only thing here, the books are stackable, and the books are all the same, with a very strange name. If I say try and use the book and read it, it's basically just a jar of a random mix-up of a bunch of text. There's not too much to interpret here. If I place the block down in a different spot and interact with it, instead of getting the same book, I get a completely different book. Hmm. Back over on the main menu, at the time, this snapshot was released during the development of the greatest Minecraft update of all time, the Nether update. The Nether update, it's all about portals. Now, a side note here, this is a connection that I have only just now made a couple of years later, then, yeah, this update is all about portals, so obviously it kind of makes sense that the April Fool's update, it, you know, kind of involves the portal. Oh yeah, and in the creative inventory, everything has been randomly shuffled. I think they probably did this to make it a little bit more mysterious, like, like you can't just scroll to the end of the menu and find all of the new things or whatever. It's just completely mixed up. The true beauty, it begins when we walk up to another portal in Lighten. Now, if I were to say step into this portal, follow it all the way through or whatever, it would just take me to the plain old, same old nether. Instead, if I were to place a bookshelf down, interact with it, get another book, and throw it at the portal, <laughs> well, it changed. I mean, with this one, not that much of a change, but definitely a change. And that's the beauty of it, the magic of it. Now we have to move into this portal. We're gonna give it a second. Where am I going to be sent? I have literally, <laughs> I have no clue at all. Man, this snapshot is so fun. All right, from first uh, interactions, first steps into this unknown, strange world. It smells like blueberries. It's very weird here. A strange smell emanating from between the keys of my keyboard. It's very weird, and uh, the red hazy fog sets the tone very terribly. We've got fossils all over the place. It looks like gigantic pillars as well, and island to island to island. Almost as if this is like the AO. And I'm feeling a little under the weather. So with a potion of slow falling here, we can take the great leap down off the edge, no fall damage, and just take a look. It looks like this block right here, is this the, uh, that might be the honey, that's definitely the honeycomb block for sure. Uh, it was the honeycomb block for sure. Okay, well, fine, you can keep it. Oh, my, my, my. The residents of this biome are not exactly the nicest. So that's the thing here. This dimension and all of the other dimensions, two billion of them, they're gonna have a bunch of unique properties, making every dimension essentially unique. For my next experiment, we'll run it all again. We place a new bookcase down, interact with it, something completely different, build a brand new portal, alight the portal, throw the book into the portal, completely different color this time, and move in. 
Aha! Uh -huh. And right off the bat this time, it almost appears as if I'm inside of a cave. Oh, inside of a cave, except the, the Badlands biome. And apparently coral all over the place. Alrighty then. But structures, this brings me to a big one. Depending on the rules of the dimension, different structures would often repeat all throughout the dimension different structures and to different mobs too there's something about the idea of a phantom just flying around inside of a dimension that i'm not actually against like that's kind of cool ah this might be a bit of a reach oh my my friend and apparently unused mobs too i didn't even realize that but uh this might be a bit of a reach with the particles all over the place it almost reminds me of like what they did a couple updates later with the spore blossom and and then recently with the cherry blossom too huh and ship schman ship my big question here is do we get the elytra no oh no i i thought with the, the chest we get the elytra but no instead we get books and now it's been a while but if i can remember correctly i think these books have a little bit of interesting lore to them yes discover something i thought i remember from playing this in survival i this goes back into like my core memories basically core memory of playing this buddy in survival exploring and finding one of the books inside of this structure and or one of the structures and being like oh yeah we gotta like get around to that and check that out later find out the meaning and i don't think i ever did with a book called obliterate i think there's only one thing we could do Oh, wow. Obliterate with the end of portal gateways and beams. <laughs> Weird, tall things. I feel like I've been shrunk down like I'm an ant. And these are the giant red nether trees. Oh, this dimension painful. Oh, it's painful. We can barely survive. But what happens if I walk into the gateway? Anything happen? Oh, oh. where was I sent? Oh, hold up, hold up. This is a new one. We've got a pyramid right here, a steep pyramid too, with chests all over the thing. They look like starter chests, yeah. They're just starter chests, but... Oh, that's weird. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Written books, so they always work, including if I go ahead and write a book and sign it, the title I think is maybe the big decider. We'll go ahead and name it a beautiful name. And then finally, last but not least, we go ahead and create the Waddles Dimension and... Oh, coincidence? No, I don't think so. All right, inside of the Waddles Dimension, we've got that luxurious black stained glass. I love it. It's beautiful. I probably checked this one out. Oh, my God. It's like the boat update with the giant sun to the giant moon. Oh, it's beautiful here. Oh, okay. And a little emotional, too. Now, what I was planning, this little video that we're experiencing here together today, I did a little bit of research into the infinite update and found something that I don't think I ever knew about. So first things first, inside of this update, we've got a couple different unique blocks that are exclusive to this update. This block right here, the ant block, is a block that is entirely unobtainable. Like, it's not inside of the inventory. You have to use set block and you can't pick it up. This one right here is called the cursor block. It essentially flashes in one second intervals between black and green or, or live. Another interesting thing inside of the snapshot is a brand new command that I don't think I've ever heard of. We could essentially use this command to warp to any dimension. Now, a lot of these dimensions are entirely randomized, but the super spicy thing is the fact that there are 43 hard-coded dimensions. So that should mean, theoretically, if I had a written book, say, named Ant or something, and I threw it into a portal, it jumped into the portal, every single time it's going to create this Ant dimension, which initially it looks like just a, a bunch of white concrete. However, if we have this ant block inside of this dimension, then the block actually comes to life and walks around in a randomized pattern and basically turns white concrete to black and, and black concrete to white concrete. We go ahead and let this whole simulation run for a little bit of time, and eventually it'll make this insane looking pattern. It's pretty cool. And so that right there is where this warp command comes into play. We could use this warp command to send ourselves straight to the specified hard-coded dimensions. The brand dimension, <laughs> uh, pretty straightforward, is creeper faces all over the place, built out of a different mixture of different things. Now, sometimes this combination is going to go a little bit harder than it does in other situations, but I mean, at the least, it's a very interesting and kind of beautiful dimension. Speaking of interesting, kind of beautiful dimensions, the checkerboard dimension. Inside of the checkerboard dimension, we're going to have a repeating pattern of all of the colored blocks in Minecraft across the entire dimension. In hindsight, when I was doing Infinite Survival series in this Infinite Snapshot, if I knew of this, like, like having in mind that these specific dimensions actually exist, this could be crazy useful if you were running survival and say, like, I don't know, needed a bunch of colorful blocks for a build or something. This almost reminds me of, like, one of those, like, sweater vest things from the 2000s. You know what I'm talking about? 
Now being something of a creator myself, I figured probably the best dimension for me would be the contented dimension. <laughs> yeah, so for everyone always asking for Minecraft to add Skyblock into the game, they have actually already gone ahead and done it. Here we have, inside of the content dimension, nothing more than an oak tree, a small island, and a couple supplies right here. Hopefully, maybe, you'll be able to figure it out. So I know this one's kind of fire, and this could be a really fun challenge. <laughs> do I do infinite survival season two? As we get up content content creators, one thing that I feel like they're always on about is isolation. What if we go there? By sending ourselves to the isolation dimension, we're actually met with something kind of poetic and beautiful. Like, this is almost some kind of surrealist painting or something. Inside of this place, we've got a simple shack and nothing else as far as the eye can see. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog vibes, like, for sure. We walk up, go away, and on the other side, Ingen Reklam, tak. No? Alrighty then. And then he ran away from me and went up to his, to his balcony. Well, let's just say I can't read illiterate. You know, we walk in, ignore the signs. Uh, we, oh, hi, friend. Oh, Bob. Hello, nice to meet you. A quite a quaint uh, flower garden you have. And, and food, of course, very nice. You should probably harvest it. Anyways, moving inside, we've got Bob's dog, uh, Bob's other dog, and and other, what does it say? Other cousin Jim. <laughs> anyways, upstairs, we've got a bookshelf. And uh, oh, a, a brand new beautiful black home sweet home. It's quite a... Beautiful. Oh, uh, balcony, you look out at the world and uh, just dream of all the things you wanted to build with the dirt block. And then finally, last but not least, the basement. Bob wants me to seem to check it out. Uh, down here in the basement, we've got more books and a little bit of storage. But with this one, just you wait, because Bob is actually hiding a little bit more. You see, underneath Bob's garden right here, marked by a yellow flower, is a chest. Sneaky, sneaky, not so fast, Mr. Bob. Underneath the ground in here, we have a small chest with a little bit of strange and suspicious lore. Who in the world is that, Bob? Now look, I could get carried away and look at these dimensions all day long. Like I mentioned, there's like 40-something of them. If you like the idea of me jumping back into the infinite snapshot sometime soon and looking at more dimensions, leave a like. Retro is another really cool dimension and also bonus points for the name. Something about it, I just like it. Inside of the dimension immediately, it's like an interesting vibe, almost like a whole vaporwave aesthetic. We got black concrete, lime concrete, and then sunset hour with some interesting, beautiful colors. Like, like rotate slowly, find the moon, and chase it, baby. We've got that purple haze all over, and oh, it's vaporwave, baby. On the other hand, run towards the sun with the orange, and I mean, it's not quite vaporwave, but... It's a nice aesthetic, right? Now, aside from dimensions, which is definitely the main focus of this update, there are a couple other interesting things as well, such as a very fine item. It's called fine item inside of the code. And once I get this item somehow, if I try and like place it down like a block, it doesn't work or do anything. It seems like almost to me that the very fine item was literally added just as like the poster for that whole Bob's dimension thing. Now I got some great news for you. If you're into this infinite snapshot and you'd like to see more of it, well, a couple years ago when this thing was new, I ran a whole survival series on it. I mean, it's three years old, four years now, so um, <laughs> it might be a different vibe. But yeah, I can remember checking out this whole like survival experience. It was so fun. Like maybe one of the most survival experiences that I've ever had in, in all of Minecraft. I will go ahead and leave that playlist for you on the end card. I'll pop a card up on screen as well, too. So maybe check it out. For even more of the infinite snapshot, maybe even a return of survival, tap that like button right now, and thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. It's been me, Waddles, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.